I've been seeing some ignorant, idiotic, uneducated takes claiming, claiming that people don't like Caitlin Clark and WNBA doesn't like her because she's white. What? She's a little white girl, so she's not going to get the rookie of the year. You dumbass. Brianna Stewart, who's white, <laughs> she has been the rookie of the year before. Oh, by the way, she's also been MVP. In fact, the last two MVPs have been Asia Wilson and Brianna Stewart. In fact, the MVP last year was Brianna Stewart. Guess what? Last time I checked, Stewie is a uh, white. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, NGM. Praise God to get money. Back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The Ducks is in the house. Now, look, check this out. Y'all know I usually would give a recap of all the games, you know, that's been on going on in WNBA, but there's been a lot of boxing fights, especially yesterday. So, you know, I fell a little behind, but you know, I still watch that. I just ain't had time to make all the appropriate videos. But today, we're going to take a slightly, a slight different approach to this video today, man. We're going to talk about the phenomenal, sensational, wonderful rookies, particularly Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, OCC and AR respectively. You know, they have some major accomplishments, man. You know, and they are neck and neck for the rookie of the year accolade, you know, that's given for the most outstanding rookie, you know what I'm saying? And it's just funny because, you know, this conversation has already been dated back to, you know, their collegiate days and their eventual, you know, clash in the pros. You know, when I say clash, I'm talking about from a skill level, not from a personal level or anything that 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 is uh, you know, that these goofies and these losers manifest in their head in regards to the rivalry that they have. Is it, it should extend outside of basketball, but of course for some people it does because they're so ridiculous and dumb. But anyway, you know, this has come on the cusp of of both Angel Reese and CC, you know, AR and Caitlin Clark, they both done some wonderful things. Yeah. Starting off with Angel Reese, you know, she has just uh, recorded her 13th straight triple double. Sorry, her 13th straight double double, you know, consecutively, she has broke the WNBA record for the most consecutive double doubles, you know, surpassing. Candace Parker, you know what I'm saying, with 13. So that is crazy. That's a phenomenal record. And no, it's just not a rookie record. That's in the league, period. Period. So they're doing big things. She's doing big things. And then her 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 counterpart, you know, not really by position, but just because she's on the opposite side of the spectrum because you got to pick one. I don't know why people feel like they're compelled, you know, they're, they're, they're compelled to pick one. You know, you, you can just like basketball, like appreciate them both. But Caitlin Clark has become the first ever rookie to record a triple double oh. in the WNBA you know what I'm saying as, as long as the league's been been around you know so it's first one in history so we have both of them doing great things you know AR's uh, record came her, her double double record came against the Seattle Storm you know they played them back to back and then um Angel uh sorry Caitlin Clark's triple double you know it, it came against New York Liberty you know and and um you know she this is her second time coming she she came very close another time when she was one I think she was one rebound off, and then now she actually recorded it against New York Liberty. And speaking of the New York Liberty, you know, there's Brianna Stewart, who's a former MVP and a former Rookie of the Year, you know, because I think it's really funny, you know, it was, it was a perfect segue because I've been seeing a lot of blasphemy, a lot of asinine statements, man, you know, in regards to the, the Rookie of the Year race, the ROTY for the WNBA between Angel Reese and Kate Clark, you know, I've been seeing some ignorant idiotic, uneducated takes claiming, claiming that people don't like Caitlin Clark and WNBA doesn't like her because she's white. What? She's a little white girl, so she's not going to get the rookie of the year. You dumbass. Do you think that she's the only white woman in the league? Do you think that she's the first white woman in the league? Do you know, which is why I brought up Brianna Stewart, Brianna Stewart, who's white, <laughs> she has been the rookie of the year before. Oh, by the way, she's also been MVP. In fact, the last two MVPs have been Asia Wilson and Brianna Stewart. In fact, the MVP last year was Brianna Stewart. Guess what? Last time I checked, Stewie is a uh, white. Damn. 
I'm sorry. You know, so just because you're unfamiliar with these things, just because you don't know, stop making these narratives and pushing your ignorant, uneducated, simple agenda. Like you're just a Neanderthal, just be that, you know? And it's it's just very it's just very disheartening that you know that people are manipulating the, the 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 spectacular phenomenal gameplay of these two players and make it something that it shouldn't be you know just because you're ignorant you know it's like when you see it it's like, like I just can't believe well this this is this is the voice that I think that I imagine all the idiotic simpleton uneducated trolls sound like on the internet I just can't <laughs> believe that they would not pick Caitlyn Clark it has to be because she's white they don't like her because she's white right it has to be that. No, idiot. Brianna Stewart is an MVP and a former rookie of the year. So is Ella Della Don. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and there's been black rookie of the years too. In fact, what a uh, Kayla Clark's teammate, Aaliyah Boston, she she was a rookie of the year, you know, and she's black. So and there's Asia Wilson, she's a former MVP, she's black. So like these accolades are, despite what you may think, and sorry to disappoint you, but these accolades are, are strictly awarded for your accomplishments on the court. So the player that gets it, whether it's Andrew Reese or Caitlin Clark or somebody else, they they get rewarded because they have demonstrated a high level of play throughout the season. That's it. And I say, just, just celebrate these two wonderful women. Whether you got Andrew Reese or whether you got Caitlin Clark, they're both breaking records, respectively. You know, Caitlin Clark, she just had a, what? A triple-double. Adrian Reese just set the record for the most consecutive double doubles. Why does it have to be bigger than that? It's because you're hateful. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? All right, then. So don't don't project your evil, hateful, malicious ways upon anything that has to do with sports. Because I, I guarantee these women don't feel like that. So you so you you are you are imposing your own feelings and shame on you. You know what I'm talking about? That's all I want to make this uh, uh, uh this post about. So everybody who has picks Angel Reese. It's okay. Pick Angel Reese because of her gameplay. Those of you who pick Caitlin Clark, it's okay. Pick Caitlin Clark for her gameplay. But these pundits who are getting paid to analyze the game of basketball, these same pundits and analysts and contributors that have picked white women as the award winners before, they're not suddenly hateful or prejudiced against Caitlin Clark because she's white. Because I'm sure they have voted for other white players before that have won these awards. It's just that simple, man. Maybe they just pick an Angel Reese because they think that she's more appropriate for the rookie of the year. Ever thought of that? Maybe they're picking Caitlin Clark because they feel like she's more appropriate for the rookie of the year. Ever thought of that? You know what I'm saying? So when people when people say these things, man, you just know that you're ignorant and you, you look very foolish. And we notice it. We notice it. Especially those are the content creators, creators that 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 are that are that are manipulating and 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 um, taking advantage of of this racial divide and, and this division to grow your channel. You know what I'm saying? To ride that wave. Nigga, you was a bitch. <laughs> man, you know, hey, hey, man, you know. The most high gonna judge you, you know, so you might get away with, with it for now, but it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. And I'm, I'm gonna be there to laugh, you know what I'm talking about? So I appreciate your argument as always. Don't forget to like the video, but more importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. Let me know who you have as a rookie of the year, as of now, as a front runner for the rookie of the year in the WNBA. Like I said, you can't go wrong with Caitlin Clark or Angel Reese. Me personally, I probably lead towards Angel Reese right now at this moment because her team is a higher seed. And because when you do this little super analytics, her plus minus is a little better. And also because she broke a record that was held by Candace Parker, who was considered one of the GOATs. You know, boy, there's her, Diana Taurasi, who's another one who's considered the GOAT. Another one that's white. You know, whether it's, Angel, whether it's uh, Candace Parker, uh, Diana Taurasi, Cheryl Swoops, Lisa Leslie, Rebecca Love, whoever you want to talk about as, as being one of the GOATs. Sue Bird, hell. Whatever one you want to talk about being one of the GOATs, definitely Candace Parker's one of the GOATs. And the fact that Angel Reese broke one of her records in the rookie season, that's why I would lead towards her for rookie of the year. But that could change. It's fluid. You know what I'm saying? It could change today. It could change tomorrow. You know, not today because there's no more games. But you know what I'm saying? It's fluid, man. So you let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. I appreciate y'all. And don't forget, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. And Love each other, man. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.